hello everyone welcome back to the channel in today's video i'm going to show you how i made this pond with fishes and lily pads stick around to see how you can make this yourself the first thing you want to do is drag in the koi fish model and click open for some reason if you don't do this first you won't be able to add the koi fish later i downloaded this koi fish from sketchfab one thing I like about this model is that it's already animated, all I have to do is figure out how to make it move from place to place. And I learned that from this video by Pixel3D. In his video, he talks about how to create a path that your character can follow. As you can see here, in order to do that, you'll need to add a Bezier curve. Then you want to go to edit mode and delete that curve. And staying in edit mode, you want to select the pen tool and create a custom curve that your character can follow. Once you added the curve, you go back to object mode and select your character. In this case, it's the fish. Then you click this blue button and click add object constraint. Next, you select the dropper tool and then click the curve you just created. You want to also click animate path and follow curve from this tab. And if needed, you might also have to change the forward axis to X axis. The next thing I did was click on the curve I just created and click on the curve tab and went down on path animation and change the frame rate. This can help slow down or speed up your character's animation. As you can see here, I went back to edit mode and tried to change the curve to match more realistically with the fish animation. Once I was happy with the animation, I moved on and added this school of fish from Sketchfab. Luckily, these fishes were already animated and was moving on their own. Now, some of you fish experts will say these are ocean fish and do not belong in the pond. To that, I will say you're correct, but I needed some pre-animated fishes for this project. Moving on. Next, I made sure the koi fish was not colliding with the school of fish. And then I also duplicated the koi fish. The next thing I did was add the water. And in order to do that, I followed this video by CG Geek. Now, I'm not going to show this process step by step because I think CG Geek explains this process better than I can. Instead, I'm going to put a link to everything I talked about in this video in the description down below. One thing I will say is that I couldn't get the caustics to work whenever I increased the volume of the water. So I decided to unplug them from this project. Another thing I had to change was the area light. I had to increase the power tremendously to illuminate the whole scene. And during this time I also used this HDRI from Polyhaven. During this time I also tried to change the size of the wave but I couldn't figure out how to do it exactly. So I moved on and added these lily pads from fab.com. One thing I will note is that whenever you're putting in the shading for this lily pads, do not plug in these four pictures from the top and these two pictures from the bottom. For some reason, the four pictures do not fit right and the two pictures make the whole thing transparent. And you repeat the process and plug in the same pictures for each pair of lily pads. As you can see here, I'm putting different clumps of lily pads in different spots to make it more realistic. One thing that I found is putting the lily pads under the water was making them look nicer and brighter. Eventually, I decided to put all the lily pads under the water. And because of the displacement of the water, it was making it seems like the lily pad was moving because of the water, which was an added bonus. To me, it still didn't quite look right because the ripple or the wave of the water were too big and they were creating too much shine over everything. So I went back to the shader editor and tried unplugging the bump node but that didn't work so instead I tried changing the scale and the detail from the noise texture which actually fixed the issue that I was having. Next I went back to the curve and tried changing it to make the koi fish more of a centerpiece. The project was basically done at this point, but it looked very bland so I decided to add this bridge from Sketchfab. Overall, this worked out pretty well, but the biggest problem I was having was putting my ideas into a Blender project. I had to scrap so many ideas just because I couldn't make them in Blender. I'm pretty sure this is due to the lack of skill that I have, 
but I'm pretty sure it will get better as I learn more and more of Blender. But enough of that, thanks for watching and here is the final result.